everybody. So I'm gonna show you how you can make your own journal sleeve. Um, I'm gonna receive my large term 1917 this week and I'm so looking forward to it but I know I'm gonna have it with me everywhere um, and I don't want it to get ruined because it's such a nice notebook. So um, yeah, keep watching if you wanna know how to save your notebook. So you're gonna need of course a notebook to trace after. You're also gonna need loads of scraps of leather or other fabric, some glue and some buttons. You're also gonna need a sewing machine or just regular thread and needle. Um, you can also do just by hand. It's up to you. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is place your notebook onto your fabric and then trace around these three sides, but leave the bottom alone because it's gonna be one long pattern. And remember to leave some seam allowance. So as you can see now I've traced around the three sides but I've left a little hole here that's the equivalent of the depth of the notebook, like this. And then I've traced around these two sides to make up the other half of the sleeve but left the top alone because we're gonna make the flap that's gonna close it in the end. So as you can see here I have finished my pattern but don't do as I did and put the triangle on right away because I had to cut some of the excess fabric off later and then it wasn't centered all the way. So don't do that, just elongate it. So in reality your pattern should look a bit more like this because you didn't cut the triangle out as I did. Um, but everything's fixable and I'll show you if <laughs> by any chance you did cut the triangle out how you can fix it like I did. Um, but yeah, now you wanna cut two side strips. It's gonna be uh, the end stoppers because your notebook is just, it's not just flat. It needs to have a bit of depth. So you wanna make a strip that's as wide as the bottom and as long as one side to the top because we're gonna lay it over. My strips ended up being 2.5 centimeters by 26 centimeters. And still remember to leave some seam allowance. So as you can see here, I now have all my components. Um, mine are not as neatly cut out as I would like them to because I ran short on fabric, but I would recommend to cut them out as neatly as possible. That would give you a lot nicer result. So you're now gonna find your marked middle point and then take one of the side strip and put it right sides together with your full pattern. Then sew along the line. So, now that we've finished the bottom, you have to put your two sides together. Still the right sides together and sew down. This can get a little bunched up, but if you take your time and you're neat, then you will get a nice result. Now it's finally starting to look like something, so you have to do the exact same thing with the other part of the side. It's still right sides together and just sew down the line. And ta-da! One side down and another one to go. So in reality you have a fully functional sleeve right now. Um, but to make it a bit more neat, you gotta hem the edges. As shown here, you fold it over and then sew around the side, but leave the triangle alone if you made one, and if you didn't make one, just leave that side alone, we're gonna fix that afterwards. Now half of the hemming is done, and as you can see here, this is now I realized that the triangle was not centered anymore because I cut some of the side seams off off camera. If you didn't cut the triangle out from the start, then you can just cut it out right now so it's center, but if you make the same mistake as I did, just fold one side over a bit more than the other so it looks like it's on purpose. It will move it more to the side. So the actual sleeve is done now. Um, what I need to do is put on these buttons with some super glue. I have put the notebook inside of the sleeve now so I can measure correctly where to put the buttons. I have marked a little point where the edge of the triangle is hitting, so that's where the bottom of the button goes. And now your sleeve is done! Just for decorative purposes I am putting a button on top of the triangle, but that's totally optional. Optional montage with the sleeve besides I hope you like this video. I am gonna start bullet journaling when I get my notebook, so if you want to keep updated then subscribe and like. And I'll see you next time.